So, welcome to uh, the next Eagle Crow Owl vlog. Here we go. Let's see what's gonna happen, because I don't know yet. I don't know what's gonna happen yet. But I imagine I'll find out. So now I want to talk about what I'm attracted to creatively. If I had to give it one word, I would say that I was attracted to the ineffable. I've been this way for a long time, as long as I can remember. That quality that I'm constantly attracted to and trying to recreate is a quality that I really cannot find words for. And if I could, perhaps I would be more of a word-based artist. But it is something that I'm always aware of and always very, very interested in. It's... I think it's the grand mysteriousness of life, the... it is. See, I really, really can't find words for it. The things that I paint, those faces, they represent something real to me, even though I, I feel like they're taking place, they're, they're existing in another, another place. Uh, they're, they're existing in an, in an ephemeral world, like it's, it's just beyond. Now, am I saying, oh, they really exist, or there's really an ephemeral world just beyond? I mean, I don't know. I'm a, I'm a, three-dimensional flesh and blood creature. I don't know too much beyond what anybody else knows. But there's that feeling that it's kind of an eerie feeling, but it's not scary like Rosemary's Baby. It's not supernatural, like the doll's going to start talking to you in the middle of the night and then attack you with a knife, although I was so terrified of talking dolls as a kid. Oh my god, I was so terrified of the supernatural as a kid, and even now I really, really cannot see horror movies of any type. I'm just way too sensitive, man. Sometimes trailers freak me out. The trailer for, um, what was it? It was some zombie movie. My husband saw it. I was just about to give birth to Olive and um, Sarah Polly was in it and her kid at the beginning of the movie like you suddenly see the kid in the hallway right like in a real animal like position and then like boom like it's running towards her and it's running towards the camera. Oh my god that like freaked me out for days like I wake up pretty much every night in the middle of the night you know and um, you know I have to get up get some water go to the bathroom and like even now, as a grown woman in the middle of the night, you know, I could look down the hall and just be like, ah, you know, just like get so scared that like I have to run and jump into bed. So, you know, I guess I am really sensitive to that um, kind of stuff, you know, which is whatever, it's life, but it's not, I don't think I'm trying to recreate that kind of scary thing, although it must be related because of that sensitivity. I think that what I'm attracted to though is very, very human and maybe those movies, actually maybe those movies are about the same thing, you know, maybe everybody's trying to deal with the same thing. I mean, to some degree we must all be trying to cope with the same things in different ways, right? So, you know, there's only so many topics under the sun, but then there's an infinite number of ways to deal with them. You know, sometimes when you're in your apartment by yourself and it's sunny and really quiet and it's so quiet that it's like you could be the last person on earth you know things like that